Hey everybody, so today I'm going to be reviewing the Kiko NextFit Zip convertible car seat for you guys. We've had this car seat I think for around four or five months now and I just wanted to go over some of the key points of the car seat, show you up close what it looks like and all the things it comes with stuff. At the end of the video, I'm going to mention the differences between all the different versions because I know there's a few versions now of the Kiko NextFit and one of the questions I had when looking at it was, what's the difference between all of them? So I'm going to go over that at the end, and then at the very end, I'm going to go over my thoughts and stuff like that. So I'm going to go ahead and jump into stuff just because I don't want this to be a super long video. But I did want to say first and foremost, you know, I'm not a car seat tech, I'm not a professional, I'm not paid by Kiko or anything like that. This car seat was bought by my mom for Sophie for her birthday, so thank you to grandma, but you know, I'm not a professional of any kind. This isn't going to be like an install video or anything like that. There's plenty of those videos on YouTube. I will also try to link down below some information on finding a car seat tech near you. I know it can be a little bit tricky. Sometimes your local fire department and police officers are trained in that. So if they are, that's a great place to start. Um, my health department has somebody trained there. Also, I'm probably going to say easy or it's easy or it's super easy or something like that a thousand and two times but it's because it is so excuse me if I say that word a lot but I don't really have any other words for this car seat but before I ruin any more of the video I'm just gonna go ahead and get started with some stats for you guys the Kiko NextFit Zip retails for around $349.99 in US dollars my mom bought this off of albibaby.com. I'm also going to have this website linked down below for you guys because that's where we also bought her infant car seat from, which she has the Kiko KeyFit 30. That's what we bought from there. And we love albibaby.com. It's what I recommend to everybody because most of the time they have a 20% off coupon and it applies to the car seats. So it's amazing. But like I said, this car seat does retail for around $350 in the US. If you're looking for general stats, this car seat goes from 5 pounds all the way to 65 pounds and it goes from 49 inches or smaller. So there's just those general stats for you. It also does have a newborn insert that you can use from 5 to 11 pounds. It does say in the manual, which I'm also going to link down below for you guys because I feel like Kiko's manuals are really thorough and I love that about that company, but it did highlight right underneath that newborn insert that if you have a premature baby to talk to your doctor about using this car seat. I'm not sure if that's in every car seat manual. I don't remember it being in the Kiko KeyFit 30. I'm not 100% on that. I don't know if that's something that they just widely say about preemies because I know with preemies you have certain roles and stuff like that and you got to be extra careful. But I did want to throw that in there because I know that I have some preemie moms who watch me and I just wanted you guys to be aware of that. So just check with your doctor if you're looking to use this for a premature newborn. Excuse me if I'm looking down, I have a ton of notes on this for you guys so I didn't miss a thing. But for more specific stats, it rear faces from 5 to 40 pounds and then it forward faces from 22 to 65 pounds and 49 inches or less. And then right underneath that in the manual it says how Kiko and the AAP which is the American Academy of Pediatrics recommends that you rear face up until two years old if not longer or whenever your child reaches that specific requirement of the car seat. So I just wanted to throw that in there and I think that's pretty bomb that Kiko is on board for extended rear facing. So now that I've gone over all the general kind of stats and stuff, like quick information for you guys, I'm now going to pan to a clip of me showing you the car seat up front. I'm going to cover installation and securing accessories and then when it pans back to me, I'm going to go over the differences in the versions and also my thoughts on the car seats. But yeah, so I'm just going to pan to that clip for you guys right now. So this is the Kiko NextFit Zip that I have. I wanted to give you guys a quick overview of the car seat zoomed out before I went ahead and zoomed in to more of the individual parts that I'm going to go over. But this is the whole thing. I'm going to insert somewhere down there at the bottom of the video what color I have. I can't remember the name of it exactly, but it's coming up pretty true to color. I'm going to go ahead and get started. The first thing I'm going to talk about is installation. 
So one of the first things that I wanted to talk to you guys about was the latch system. It's super, super easy to use this system. It's what Mark and I use in our Subaru and what my mom uses in her Ford Escape and her Ford Fusion. We all really like the latch system. Like I said, it's really easy to use. And down here, it does have this kind of cubby hole to put the latch system into when you're not using it because if you're not using it, it should be put away. But everything in there just tucks super nicely and then you can just pull that back. And then same thing for the other side, still has that little cup hole, you open it up, you pull everything out. And it has those nice two buckles on either side of the car seat. Hopefully I'm getting this all into frame. But yeah, it has that. You cannot use the latch system and the seat belt installs at the same time. So just make sure you choose one or the other. Obviously, um, some cars aren't compatible with the latch system. My sister's car is an older Honda. It doesn't have the latch system available. So we do a car seat install when we use her car. And about that, this is one of the reasons why I recommend the zip if you are using a car seat install. It's just a lot easier in the respects that you can unzip it really quickly, pull it nice and tight under here like you need to, and then zip it back up. And it makes it super simple and super easy. And then also on the side here, it has this nice little level and it has guides for both rear facing and forward facing. And basically, this is to help you when you're installing it in your car to make sure that it's in the right range for whatever you're doing. There's, if you can see this, yeah, um, let me zoom you in just a little bit more. There we go. So if you look closely, you can see that it has little arrows to say that forward facing needs, to, the bubble needs to be in these two. And then if it's in rear facing, it needs to be between these two. So it's really nice. It helps you understand where your car seat needs to be and make sure that you're getting a nice level install and it's nice and safe. And I like that it has the guides on there too. Makes it super simple for anybody. The next thing is these recline positions. There's nine of them, as you can see down here on the bottom. And the level is to also help you know if the recline position is compatible with forward facing or rear facing. You know, some of them you can't do if you're rear facing. Um, I'm not sure about forward facing. Obviously, we're not there yet, and I haven't tried to install it like that yet. But it does have a super easy to grab handle. It's all the way under here, right there. And it's got this big easy to use handle where you can just push it forward, push it backwards, just move it wherever you want to. We normally have it on two for Sophie for rear facing and this is what it looks like. It's it's pretty reclined. She enjoys it. And I did want to say really quickly that the handle is not accessible whenever it's installed in the car, but that's because the um, adjustments need to be made in a certain way. And what I mean by that is to just check your manuals. You know, if you want to change the recline position, go check your manual on how it needs to be done and stuff like that because there's certain circumstances and things like that. But like I said, it's not, this is not an install video, so I'm not going to go over that. I did want to say really quickly that I did like that the guides are color coded as well. I'm not sure if I said that earlier when I was talking about these, but the blue is rear facing and the red is forward facing. And it goes for a whole bunch of different guides here on the car seat. There's one down here for the latch system. You can see over here, there's some stuff for forward facing, things for rear facing. Sorry, there's a glare on that one. And there's even things like down here, you can see there's stuff for the seat belt install. So you know all over the car seat, if you see red, it's about forward facing. If you see blue, it's about rear facing. And I really, really like that. It helps also for an easy install and, you know, kind of give you a guide as to how to use the car seat. But I did want to mention that really quickly. The little last bit about installing is I did want to throw in that the manual states it is certified to use on an aircraft. You just have to contact whatever um, airline you're using, what their policies are, but it can be used 
and installed as either forward facing or rear facing on the plane and just make sure that you take your manual with you because it'll give you the correct instructions on how to install it with a lap belt and yeah I just wanted to throw that in really quickly in case you were someone who travels a lot but I thought that was really cool I don't know if it makes a difference if you rear face or forward face on a plane, but it is pretty cool that it could do either or. So I just want to throw that in really quickly before I go over some securing stuff. And what I mean by securing is, is I just wanted to show you guys some of the pretty cool features on this car seat. It has adjustable harness straps, and it just means that there's no re-threading necessary like you would on an infant carrier or something like that. Um, I know some convertible car seats just don't even have this but there's no re-threading and it's a really easy adjustment with this button up here. So I zoomed you in closely just so I could show you how high this headrest goes. It goes pretty dang high because it's the last one right here. You just want to make sure you hear it click. But it is super, super tall. Let me see if I can zoom you guys out. There you go. Sorry if you see some lighting tripods in the background, but this is how high this thing sits. If I push this back and you can see, that is an incredibly tall sitting car seat it's crazy but yeah i really like this it makes it really easy that was one of the things i hated about my infant carrier was re-threading the harness so it's super nice not to have to worry about that anymore and i just love that it's adjustable and like i said one less thing you have to worry about doing Along with the headrest, I did want to mention back here, it does have an extendable back panel. You guys may have been able to see it when I was extending the headrest, but it grows with your child as well. You know, when you extend the headrest, it goes up higher. There. So I thought that was pretty cool. And then also there is an adjustable chest clip, which I'm going to zoom you guys in for. Sorry if this video is just all kinds of like wonky and weird. I don't have my... Helper Mark, he is babysitting right now, but the adjustable chest clip has two different settings you can put it on. This outward setting is for bigger babies, and then this inward setting is for smaller children. And the manual just says to find whatever fits best for your child. Sophie is pretty tiny for her age. I think she's like in the 15th percentile or something like that the last time I went to the doctor. So we tend to keep it on the inward position, but you know, um... I thought that was pretty unique. I've never seen that in a car seat before. And then right below it is the infant insert. This you can use from 5 to 11 pounds. It's really cushiony just like everything else is. And then if you just want to go ahead and remove it, like, you know, when we got it, it was already in here and Sophie was obviously already over 11 pounds. It's not too hard to take out. And this is what it looks like without the infant insert. Might take me a second to put this crotch pad back on because it does have this little safety mabob thing that you gotta pull through. There we go, finally. But this is what it looks like without the infant insert and this is how we use it. Also, speaking of the crotch strap, there is two different positions. I'm not sure if you can see this one right here, but I have it on the most inward setting. Sophie is still okay with that. She doesn't have any problem with it, but if it starts to sit underneath of them, you can move it to this outward setting, and I thought that's also pretty neat. You might have been able to notice once I took the infant insert out, but the hip straps do stretch outwards. This is called the Comfort Flex. This is a really cool feature. I really like it about this car seat. And I even like the extra padding on the hip straps because when she's in shorts, I always wonder like, I wonder if those car seat, or <laughs> I wonder if those seat belts dig into her hips or anything. So I really like that. And then just right above those, it does have the shoulder pads, which I like significantly more than the Key, Fo Key Fit 30 straps because these ones have Velcro on them that you can take off really easily. Um, the key fit ones, they had to come off when you unthreaded your harness. So I really like this because it makes it easy to clean. This is the thing that gets the dirtiest on her car seat. She drools a ton and they can get pretty gnarly, but I've been able to wash them quite a few times and the stains always come out. So I've never had a problem with that. 
I did want to add that all of these padded accessories are pretty easy to remove. I think the only difficult one is the hip strap ones because you need to remove this outward cover before you can get to this because it's on like this little plastic U-shaped thing. But I really like the padded accessories that it comes with. And then speaking of the zip cover, obviously that's one of the things that is the biggest part of this car seat. I'm going to zoom you guys out so I can show you really quickly that it's not hard at all. The zipper lays up here. You can't even see that. It lays up here behind the button for the headrest and you just zip it down and around and I'm not going to show you how to take it out but it's really simple there's nothing really to it and I just find it really really just amazing there's no words for it I keep stalling and trying to think of other words other than easy to use or super easy or something like that but honestly guys that is this car seat in a word for you. So that is the zip cover and that's really amazing. I've used it a ton. It makes it super easy to clean, like I said. And then the last little thing is this insulated cup holder right here. As you can see, it's got a nice little insulation inside and it, they make it really easy for their um, cup holders. Not sure if our, all car seats are this way, but it also does have a few different positions. And then the last little thing is that the tightening strap down here, which you pull to tighten the straps in the car seat, has a little handle on it. I kind of thought this was silly until I remembered what it was like with my infant car seat. This was kind of hard to grab onto and I like that I have a place to hook my finger into and give it a nice pull. So it is just like a little added feature, but I do like it. Those are all the close-ups that I have for you guys. If you have any questions, leave them down below. I'll try to answer them the best to my ability, but I did want to show you some close-ups of the features that I really liked on this car seat. So now that I've shown you up close what the car seat's all about and stuff like that, I'm going to go over the difference in versions of the Kiko Next Fit, and then I'm going to tell you right after my thoughts and opinions on it. So there is the Kiko Next Fit 65, which is just, you know, if you where to go and look in stores. It's just called the Kiko Next Fit, but 65 refers to its maximum weight. So the Kiko Next Fit 65 is just the standard car seat that they have. That retails for $299.99. And then after that one, there's the Kiko Next Fit CX, which retails for $329.99. And then after that one, that's the Kiko Next Fit Zip, which retails for $349.99. But if you're able to find Find the 20% off coupon for albibaby.com which I'm gonna try and find for you guys it makes the next fit 65 $239.99 instead of the $299 it makes the CX $263.99 instead of the $329.99 and then it makes the zip $279.99 instead of the $349.99. So basically all three versions are the same except for the next few things I'm going to mention. Now as far as the Comfort Flex is concerned, which Comfort Flex is the way that the harness is pushed out down by the hips, the hip padding, and then the crotch, the crotch strap padding, I can never say that right, that's what the Comfort Flex is. Now as far as that's concerned, the 65 does not have it, the standard car seat. The CX does have it and so does the Zip. Now, as far as the cup holder is concerned, both the 65 and the CX have just standard cup holders, whereas the Zip has an insulated cup holder. So there's also that difference. And then as far as the Zip Out seat is concerned, obviously the NextFit Zip is the only one that has that feature. Also, the Zip is the only one that has a little handle at the end of the tightening strap, which I showed you guys in the clip before this, and it's the only one that has that. The last and only other difference is colors and patterns, things like that. Those are the only differences between those three versions. You know, I will try to make a Google Doc down below for you guys so you can you know, see what I'm saying if I'm talking too fast. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to make this video a little bit shorter than what I anticipate it being. And then as far as my thoughts and opinions go, there's only one word that I have for this car seat and it's easy. 
like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm sure I said it a thousand times by now, but honestly, from install to cleaning, it's so easy. I love that about it. It just makes everything easy. The whole thing is easy. The recline's easy. The adjustable headrest, you know, it's just... It's an easy to use car seat. My mom doesn't struggle with it. My stepdad doesn't. You know, nobody who uses that car seat is ever really lost on how to use it. And that's what I love about it. It's great for all age groups. You know, nobody has trouble understanding it. Also, I can't speak to this because it's not my car seat, but it looks comfortable. I have a memory foam padding. Oh, it looks to die for. And I also did want to touch on one thing really quickly. The cup holder... I would say is the only thing I'm not a fan of. It's insulated, which is nice, but most of her sippy cups are insulated, at least the ones that we take out with us. So it's not incredibly necessary, and I feel like more of her sippy cups would fit better if it wasn't insulated. I kind of wish I had just the standard cup holder. It was something that I thought was kind of cool when I first got it, but then in using it, you know, I don't even use it half the time. I use it to hold binkies. I don't know if I showed that in the clip, but I probably fish a binky out of there to show you guys. Yeah, and my last little bit about it is that I feel like it's safe. I feel like it's headache free. My kid loves it, which makes mom happy. If my kid is happy and it makes my life easier, I'm happy too. So that is my overall review on the Kiko Next Fit zip for you guys. Like I said, I'm going to have a ton of links down below for you, so go ahead, check those out. I hope you enjoyed the video, and as always, thanks for watching.